Dear congregation, today we come together to partake in the sacred sacrament of communion, a solemn and deeply meaningful act that commemorates the sacrificial death of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we gather around the communion table, let us reflect on the profound significance of this holy ordinance and its power to unite us as members of the body of Christ. I, the institution of the Lord's Supper, 2 Corinthians 11, 23, 26, KJV. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. The sacrament of communion was instituted by Jesus himself during the Last Supper, on the night before his crucifixion. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Through the act of communion, we remember and proclaim the sacrificial death of Christ until his glorious return. Communion as a symbol of unity. 1 Corinthians 10, 16, 17. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Communion symbolizes the unity of believers in the body of Christ. As we partake of the bread and the cup, we affirm our shared identity as members of the family of God. Just as the bread is broken and shared among many, so too are we united in fellowship and love, bound together by our common faith in Jesus Christ. Reflection and Examination 1 Corinthians 11, 27, 29 Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Before partaking in communion, it is essential to engage in self-examination and reflection. We must examine our hearts, confessing any sins or shortcomings before God, and seeking His forgiveness and cleansing. Communion is a sacred act, and to partake unworthily is to dishonor the body and blood of Christ. Let us therefore approach the communion table with reverence, humility, and sincerity of heart. Anticipation of the Marriage Supper of the Lamb, Revelation 19.09 And he saith unto me, write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. In partaking of communion, we anticipate the glorious future feast known as the marriage supper of the Lamb described in the book of Revelation. Just as a bride and groom celebrate their union with a wedding feast, so too will the redeemed of the Lord rejoice in the fellowship and communion of the heavenly banquet. As we partake of communion, let us look forward with hope and anticipation to the day when we will dine with our Lord in His kingdom. The Spiritual Nourishment of Communion John 6, 53, 56 Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Communion serves as a spiritual nourishment for believers, providing sustenance for our souls. Jesus himself likened partaking of his body and blood to receiving eternal life. Just as physical food nourishes our bodies, so too does communion nourish our spirits, strengthening our faith and deepening our connection with Christ. As we partake of the bread and the cup, 
let us do so with an awareness of the spiritual sustenance they provide, drawing closer to our Lord and Savior with each sacred moment. Dear brothers and sisters, as we partake of the sacred sacrament of communion, may we do so with hearts full of gratitude, reverence, and love for our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us remember his sacrificial death, celebrate our unity as members of his body, examine our hearts before God, and anticipate the glorious feast that awaits us in his kingdom. May communion be a time of spiritual renewal, fellowship, and communion with our Savior. Amen.